my name is Matt Whitecross and we're here on the set of Coldplay Video for Adventure of a Lifetime. So we're here in, uh, we, a lot of people probably recognise this as the volume, which is what they use for Avatar. And this all came about because Chris had met Andy and, and they were keen to do something together, but we weren't really sure what. So we just kind of decided to book a date and we'd kind of figure it out as we went along, which is more or less what's happened. Well, it goes back to actually working with Matt Whitecross, who has known the band for a long time, has been very good friends with them ever since they were all at college together. And he said, you know, you really must meet Chris from Coldplay because he is a very, you know, apart from being a brilliant musician, you know, he's a very visual person, very artistic person. And, and I just think there might be some synergy somewhere uh, with the Imaginarium, which is uh, as we began to get the Imaginarium together, our performance capture studio. So that was, that was, that sort of was a few years ago. And then about a year ago, I was flying back from, from LA and I suddenly got, a, I was sitting in my seat on the plane and I got tapped on the shoulder and there was Chris Martin sitting behind me. So we start off the day coming to this space. Now if you can see these cameras up here and down here, there's cameras everywhere and effectively they're creating a grid system. They're all infrared, they've got the guys over there, you can see uh, one of our dancers, Kenji, has got all these markers on them which are just um, reflective material like you'd have on a police jacket and, um, and so all that is uh, bouncing back onto the sensors which effectively tell the computer where everyone is so everyone wears these ridiculous looking suits and some of them including Chris are wearing the performance capture um, cameras on their front so they can record what's, what they're, what they're doing, their face is doing as well. So, so the band started to uh, very quickly, I mean I showed them a few bits and pieces and just kind of went to centre their weight and so on but really it, it, it was, uh, and I just threw in a few ideas here and there, but, but Matt was onto it and Matt and Chris was onto it and he was just really, you could just see him really vibing off it and really enjoying it and then the band members started to enjoy themselves and, and, and we thought well let's put, let's do apes all playing their instruments for a start and get you know as a, as, a, as a way in and then and then with the dancing and, and it just sort of had its own energy and um, narrative grew out of that So at the end of the day, we ended up with a whole bunch of collected data that was their performance. And then the fun started of taking all that cold clinical data and cleaning it up and trying to make sense of all the dots and, and what they meant in terms of performance for, for monkeys. And then we had to get to the matter of designing monkeys. We basically started from uh, sort of more realistic monkeys and um, uh, we liked them but at the same time we felt like they didn't have enough character from the band members so we went through different iterations uh, uh, for colors each one of them had uh, a specific uh, face shape uh, and uh, details uh, that's what basically we provided to uh, mathematics so the final uh, concept uh, uh, models the first thing that uh, has come to us was that um, everything was set together by the director like um, we got an ed a really precise edit with a fine intention of what they wanted to achieve. Our goal was to get the modeling from the Imaginarium and set up the skeleton so that uh, we could have the character move. We received some lip sync from uh, Imaginarium and it was great for human but uh, all the challenge was to make it more animals and uh, and then we have to, uh, to improve all the expression and make it more monkey. I think everyone has been really uh, happy to work together on such a great project. Yeah.